What is good guys, TJ Got Kicks 89 here, back with another shoe pickup, unboxing, and review for you guys. First of all, I want to th say thanks so much for staying tuned and keeping it logged into my channel. Um, today I've got something that's not related to the swoosh, three stripes, jump man, what have you. If anyone knows, I actually grew up skateboarding with a lot of my friends here in Southern Alcacia and I was heavy and still am actually into 90s fashion uh, apparently it's coming back I'm not a hype beast I swear but if the 90s are coming back it's always a good thing I love fashion from that era I love everything from the 90s era man so today we've got something that was a retro from DC Shoes USA um, Basically, it is the first colorway of the Lynx OG. This is the gray and red colorway, size US 9. Um, I got this from DC Shoes MY. Um, little backstory, there's going to be more, I think there's two more releases. I didn't get the Danny Ways, uh, but there's two more releases on uh, DC, DC Shoes that they leaked. And one of them is definitely going to be the Kalis one. And I think because I, um, on Stevie Williams' Instagram, uh, he leaked his first shoe also, the Williams. And I think that should be coming out in early 2019 or something like that. Um, but let's just get straight into the review. This is the first time I'm seeing this with you guys. So, seat. And... Wow, the actual shoes itself, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just put this to the side. Oh. So, these are the Lynx OG in its original form. Um, the Lynx actually has various iterations. Right after this came out, and I think. 91, 92, or whenever it released. I'm sorry, this case my mind. That was the Lynx HE, which I think Brian Wenning wore. Uh, Kalis also wore it. Um, and I think the Lynx 2, which Brian Wenning also wore and based his professional shoe, the Wenning, off. So this shoe was rocked by a whole load of DC pros. Um, Kalis, Wenning, Williams, Stevie Williams. Uh, and even, the, even Anthony Van Englund when he was with DC first if a lot of you guys don't know he was actually with DC first DC was his first shoe sponsor and I think he wore it I think he wore this colorway in um, Jason Dill's alien workshop photosynthesis part where he had a cameo so this is the shoe man this is awesome this is like an OG form oh by the way like um, DC 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 also came out with a modern updated version where they slimmed everything down and made everything look like every other shoe on the market right now. But I'm so glad that they brought these back, man. And this has all of the original specs. This up here in the front is the um, Pally B toe cap. Basically, it's the um, abrasion resistant toe cap. It looks like suede, feels like suede, but it's not. Um, So good. Got the classic air vent right there. DC shoes going up. Classic runner toe, which was on all of the 90s skate shoes. Huge DC shoe company branding. DC shoe logo right there. DC shoe logo right there, right there. Details, 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 man. Really puffy tongue. You could sleep on this thing, bro. Look at how heavy that thing is. How puffy it is. So, I am so glad that the 90s are back. DC Treadmark. Tread pill pattern. Um, this was, I think, they're using the system. What's it called? I think it was like a Impact G. Yeah, Impact G is what DC is using nowadays. It's basically similar to what they had back in the day. This is just like a gel insert in the midsole for heel impact. And this was actually the first shoe to actually look puffy, 
but actually had a lot of board feel. Um, when you actually sit inside the shoe, you're sitting right around here. Sitting right around here. So that's like how much you have between your board. and Which is why Kalis loved this shoe so much. And he still does, man. Um, a lot of the Sabotage crew is wearing this shoe. Um, Philly love part guys, love, basically. So I think, yeah, that takes care of everything. I'm not gonna go on too long. But this is what the shoe looks like, bro. So good, I'm so glad that this is back. Take a look at the other pair. Oh, oh, sh oh! They got the DC hang tag too. That's cool. Back in the days, like um, all skate shoes used to have like spec sheets. Like you'd have like a whole booklet on what the shoe's design process was, like all the features that it had. S Footwear used to have catalogs featuring everything that the shoe had. Um. S is doing a real good job nowadays with their retros and their current skate shoes. That's what it looks when you throw down. Look at how clean that looks. That's so iconic, man. And just looking at this and holding it in hand, man. I used to always want this shoe. Like, I think this shoe goes for a, sh a whole lot on eBay. <laughs> the original versions used to go for a whole lot on eBay. but. We're back. Um, I think RRP in Malaysia Ringgit was about close to 505 shipped because this is shipped from Australia actually. Um, yeah, so I think that takes care of the review of the Lynx OG from DC Shoes. Glad that this is back. There's another colorway coming in, um, I think next month or so. Yeah, or it's already released. But I'm gonna try to pick it up. Um, yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to TJ Got Kicks 89. This is the DC Lynx OG. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.